I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll talk about the present time. We'll go over the challenge and we'll see what the outcome is going to be. Just keep in mind during the reading that um, you could be dealing with the person that you're with or it could be someone new coming towards you or it could be a situation. So just be open-minded about the reading because uh, time is fluid and the energies can be, the energies in the roles, they can be switched. They can be reversed. So Scorpio, what we got for the recent past, we got this Nine of Cups and it's with the Ten of Cups. So the Nine of Cups, it's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is likely to be yours in a really brief period of time. So the appearance of this card, it's usually about happiness, good things to come. Now it usually can also mean that, like I said, what you're, what you're wanting or what you're hoping for is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's interesting because it's paired with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the tops. It's not short of any cups. It's another one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. Now, this card, it points to happiness once again, but perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the wish fulfillment promised by the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really, really good card to receive in a reading. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. And to the well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time. It could be a part of the picture here. And this is a like I said, it's an excellent card to see regardless of the question. Um, yeah, Ten of Cups, everyone wants a Ten of Cups in a reading. Beautiful. And you got, you got two beautiful cards here. Nine of Cups is just short of one cups. One cup. So you got, let's see. You almost got 20 cups here. But that, that's for the recent past, though. <laughs> so too bad it's not for the present. But, you know, sometimes the past makes a return. So, basically, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups for the recent past, which could be, it could have been about a week ago. Recent past could have been a month ago, six months ago. So, just take it for whichever way fits your situation. So, with these Ten of Cups, with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups here, I'm showing in the recent past that you might have been dealing with someone that you thought was a wish come true and they probably felt even more passionate about you with the ten of cups here you thought they were your wish come true and they thought you were their dream come true and yeah a lot of these scorpios you were in a really beautiful situation I'm picking up it had to be with someone and not just a not just a typical situation but you were actually with a partner or a lover because the cups they're usually about love so you must have been really happy in the recent past Scorpio for a lot of you those are a lot of cups there 19 cups whoa must have been really nice so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's going on now. Because that's really important, right? What's going on in the present time? Well, coming up for the 
second week of July, the overall energy that I'm getting is the Tower card, and it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Tower card, it could be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster, because it's important to roll with any changes that come up. And it's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic because change, it's the nature of life. And if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. But... It'll only be a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart this month of July. Now, the Tower card it is paired with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. You could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and these are very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat. You'll start to feel really hopeful about the future. And things should be going well overall. You could be starting something new very soon. And this could be in the area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a darn good thing with the Ace of Pentacles. If you're in a committed relationship, it rises to new and better heights. The two of you will reconnect. And if you're looking for love, it's a very, very positive time that something new could be started that's promising in, the, in terms of love. So be prepared. Think positive. Have fun. So with the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower Curve paired together, like I said, something comes crashing down. But keep in mind, it's only a problem if you let it be, because you got some something beautiful trying to happen here with the Ace of Pentacles. So, you're going to have to stay alert and be conscious. Be aware that there's something wonderful around the corner. When something comes crashing down in July, uh, it will awaken you. You'll be enlightened by the disaster, okay? And use it to your benefit because, like I said, don't hold on too tight to whatever comes crashing down. Just let it bounce. Let it roll wherever it's trying to roll because, like I said, you've got this Ace of Pentacles here. Something wonderful is trying to happen for you. Some new beginning. Some new fresh start. Because if you look at the Ace of Pentacles, I don't know if you can see the squirrel in the picture. And there's one huge pinnacle. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance. But it could, it could be in the area of work or personally. Yeah, so it looks like in the picture that it might have just rained for maybe four or five days or maybe just one day, all day. And it cleanses, you know what rain usually does or what it makes people feel like. It makes people feel like the earth has been cleansed. Especially when it rains for a day or a couple of days. It just feels like there's a new day out there. A new day is dawn. A lot of people get that feeling. When it just rains heavy and a lot. So it looks like that's what it did here. This pinnacle is sitting in the forest where it um, probably rained all day or rained for a couple of days. And the squirrel, he finally comes out from hiding from the rain. And he's like, wow, finally the rain has stopped. And it feels like a new day to, to the squirrel. He's, so he's got so many fresh new beginnings that he could take, he could hold on to. He's trying to figure out, should he climb upwards to that new beginning? Should he run to the right to that, towards that new beginning? Should he run to the left towards that new beginning? And he's looking at the camera, so he's thinking, should I run towards the camera? Is that where my new beginning is? So, so many new beginnings are trying to happen for you. So please, Scorpio, don't stay stuck in 
this disaster that comes crashing down. Like I said, let it roll, let it bounce to the ground, and let it land wherever it's trying to land, and then pick yourself back up, because you don't want to miss out on this, on these, on these new beginnings that you got coming your way. Now, that was the present time, so let's see what's the challenge. We got the Three of Pentacles, which is beautiful, and we got the Ace of Wands, also beautiful. Now, how could that be a challenge? Well, let's take a look. The Three of Pentacles, like I said, it's a very positive card in the tarot, particularly, particularly when it comes to work, career questions. But it's good overall. Great card to receive in a reading. It means that you're doing well. So it looks like you, yeah, maybe you got over the tower moment. You're doing well with the Three of Pentacles. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. This Three of Pentacles, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. You will not need to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Now, it's with this Ace of Wands, which is about another new beginning. Very positive new beginnings. So we got a lot of Great new beginnings in your reading, Scorpio. But this is under a challenge. So it could be in the area of um, accomplishments, or it could be related to work or career. But the wands, a lot of time, they're about passion. So I'm picking up it's, it's, it's in regards to the person you're dealing with or someone new coming in. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to be going much better very soon, very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about your future with a really good cause. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. This card also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. When it talks about love and relationships, and if you're single, it indicates the beginning of a new love, a new relationship is, is heading in. It's coming your way. So basically the challenge, the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. I'm picking up you got a new love coming in, Scorpio. Because the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion there. A lot of passion. Now this new person, they're, with this uh, Three of Pentacles here, they're going to find that um, they're going to like the qualities the quality that you bring to this connection because the three of pentacles is about people noticing and appreciating you so this person is going to appreciate you and all the efforts whatever you whatever you're doing they they think very well of you they see how these kids are looking up to this man He's just showing them what he do, what he's doing, and they're like, oh, wow. This person will be at an awe about you, and they're going to have a lot of passion for you, a lot of passion. Maybe they'll be, hmm, they're just going to really be into you. Yeah, because these people are looking up to this man like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then you got this one that's all about passion. And if this is not a, if you're saying, I know some Scorpios are listening and saying, oh my gosh, would you shut up? There's nobody new coming my way. If you know this is no one new coming, then it's, it's about really good opportunity. Some type of great opportunity is coming your way and you're going to be really passionate about it. And your money is going to take off in a great way. Yeah. You'll be very, very, very successful. 
when it comes to money coming in. But for most of you Scorpios, it's a new love that's trying to come in. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of passion for you and they, they're just going to appreciate you. Probably like no one has ever appreciated you before. And it might be a challenge to you because it looks like you, I'm not sure if you picked yourself back up from whatever came crashing down. So you might find it a challenge to take on something new at this time. But it's coming in. And it looks like it could be a good thing. Someone's coming in. Now, we got the outcome. So, the outcome, we got the seven of wands, and it's with the high priestess. So, the seven of wands is showing that you're likely to find in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top, things will be going well, and you should be feeling good. Your projects, they're moving right along. But you could still have some moments of self-doubt. But just know that now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. Yeah, this card is about being independent and thinking for yourself. You see how he's just standing there by himself and he's got his head up high and it looks like he's feeling really proud of himself. Very proud. Now, it's paired with the High Priestess. The High Priestess can be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. The High Priestess is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams now. So if you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. Yeah, the High Priestess is a very interesting card. It's a magical and mystical experience. It could be a time. It's a time. It could be a time for love. It's a magical, mystical time for love when it talks about romance and relationships. And you could find that people are literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is with this is that you're gonna attract both or all types: the good, the bad, the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. So there could be this could be a problem there. Yeah, this should have been under the challenge. You're going to have the power of femininity. Femininity or masculinity at this time. And at first it might seem great. But you're going to attract so many different types. I don't know if I'm talking to a lot of good looking Scorpios out there. Or maybe you're a Scorpio that's got a lot of nice looking pictures online or something. But yeah, you're going to attract a whole bunch of different types and... Yeah, they'll be drawn to you for friendship and romance. So, the outcome, we got the High Priestess and we got the Seven of Wands. So, it looks like, um, it looks like somebody is going to want to come out on top. They want to be, somebody wants to, someone new, or maybe someone that you knew from the recent past. Because it looks like there was a lot of love from from someone in the recent past, maybe they're going to try to make a return and try to be the last man standing because they see you're doing really well. You're going to be doing really well. A lot of new beginnings are coming in. It looks like a great new love is coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. With, I'm sorry, with the Ace of Wands. And then as a high priestess, you're going to be getting so much attention from so many other people. 
But there's someone that wants to be the last man standing with the Seven of Wands here showing up for the outcome. So it looks like you pick yourself back up from this tower moment. And then here comes someone of interest, a person of interest. Who knows? Who knows who it is? Um, maybe someone new. Like I said, maybe it's this past person. Or maybe it's all these new people that are going to be attracted to you. Now, just a little side note about the High Priestess. The High Priestess, they, um, they can decide to pull back their energy because they realize they're sitting really pretty okay so there could be someone coming towards you and you'll decide to just ghost this person cut off communication and stay quiet so that's just a little side note of how you might handle being the high priestess coming up in July but, uh, yeah, somebody is coming in that wants to be, like I said, the last woman standing or the last man standing. And then all these other people. So, yeah, you could be facing a challenge. Because, like I said, you're going to attract all types. The good, the bad, the ugly. So, good luck with that, Scorpio. Have fun, and I hope the per the person who comes in that wants to be the last man standing is the person that you like, the person that you're interested in. But it could be, uh, it, I'm picking up that it could be someone that you're not interested in. I hate to tell you that. But don't worry about it because you got so many other people fighting for your attention. And I say that I'm, I say that I think it's not someone of interest for you because the high priestess sometimes they cut off communication. So I'm thinking I'm thinking that this person that wants to come out on top, you might cut off communication, or it could be just a, a lot of other people you're just cutting off just ghosting a lot of other people because <laughs> a lot of people are coming in but hopefully this person who wants to be the last the, the person who wants to come out on top I'm, I'm hoping and I'm wishing for you that it's someone that you really like because a lot of times you can have so many people interested in you and and none of them they fit the bill I hope you get one one good pea in a pot so good luck for you, Scorpio. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below of the ex of um, for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are staying safe and being strong during these crazy times that we're experiencing. Take care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate with you, maybe the next reading will. Scorpio, I hope you have a great day. I can never say it I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.